10 Historical Places in Cagayan Valley Number 1 Santa Maria Bell the Santa Maria Bell is a Philippine church bell that is known for being the oldest bell in the Philippines and in Southeast Asia. It dates back to the early decades of the Spanish colonization of the Philippines. Forged in 1595, the Sta. Maria Bell is also known as the Bell of Antiquity and Camelaniugan Bell. Number 2. Basilica Menor of Our Lady of Piat. The Basilica Menor of Our Lady of Piat is another another important cultural landmark in Cagayan. The miraculous Our Lady of Piat is said to have been brought to Cagayan by Dominican friars from Macau, China, during the 16th century. Many devotees visit the church, especially during its feast day on July 2nd and during Holy Week. Upon arrival, you'll notice the reddish facade of the church, which is primarily made of bricks. The interior, on the other hand, has a curved high ceiling with historical representations of serenity and tranquility. At the center, you'll immediately notice the Blessed Virgin Mary altar inside a glass enclosure. Number 3. Suspension Bridge at Magapit. You could also check out the Magapit Suspension Bridge in Lal Lo, Cagayan. This bridge, which spans the Cagayan River for 257 meters and is the longest suspension bridge in the Philippines, is referred to as the Golden Gate of the North. Take some pictures when you visit the Magapit Bridge. However, keep in mind that when multiple cars cross the bridge, it leans slightly. Number 4. Castle in the Sky. The alleged Castle in the Sky has emerged as Lal Lo Town in Cagayan's newest tourist destination. The six-story structure is owned by retired U.S. Customs Director Joaquin Agatep Sr. and features a variety of furniture made from tree roots, vintage wine glasses, and artwork, including a Norman Rockwell painting. Agatep claims that the castle, which is still under construction, is his ideal home and that he built it so that young people who have always wanted to see a real castle could do so. Number 5. Bunton Bridge. The Cagayan village of Solana and Tuguegarao City are connected by the Bunton Bridge. In eastern Visayas, it is regarded as the second longest bridge after San Juanico. With a 1,369 meter span, this bridge offers a clear view of both lanes of the enormous Cagayan River. The steel structure is noteworthy, and the vast river allows for a distinct perspective of the setting sun. Number 6. Calvary Hills. Calvary Hills in Aguig, Cagayan, which is about 30 minutes from the city of Tuguegarao, is one of the must-see heritage tourist spots in Cagayan. The Church of San Antonio de Galicia, which was constructed during the Spanish conquest and is one of the few churches still using Gothic buttress designs, and the life-size station of the cross are the main draws in this area. You may see a panoramic view of the potent Cagayan River in the back of the Station of the Cross along the Cagayan River, which symbolizes the biblical location of the Jordan River in Israel. The grass-covered rolling hills are a great place to wander. Snap a postcard-worthy photo next to the old church or behind the Cagayan River. Number 7. Pottery Village of Atulu. Visit a Tulu pottery village if you want to make pottery or just observe it being made. For ages, the people have been producing clay pots in a variety of shapes and sizes. They make use of a unique kind of local red clay.
Number 8. Taid Lighthouse. Of all the lighthouses in Batanes, Taid Lighthouse is the most beautiful. Unlike other lighthouses, Taid has a hexagonal tower deck. Once up there, you'll get to see a great view of the Dyera Fishing Village, Mount Araya, and the Pacific Ocean. Originally built to guide the local fishermen, Taid Lighthouse now doubles as a popular Batanes tourist spot. Number 9. Cape Enganya Lighthouse. The Cape Enganya Lighthouse is located on topmost of a summit mountain in the stunning island of Palaui Cagayan Luzon. Built in 1892 during the Spanish colonial era, the lighthouse is considered an admired national traditional treasure. Aside from being a tourist spot, it also worked as a guide for boats and ships. Upon reaching the top of Cape Enganya Lighthouse, the remarkable outlook of Hermanas Islands, Babuyan Island, and the Pacific Ocean will surprise you. Number 10. St. Peter Metropolitan Cathedral, Tuguegarao Cathedral. Located within Tuguegarao City, you can quickly visit St. Peter's Cathedral when you book your accommodation in the capital. This church features a Baroque architectural design and is considered the oldest church in the province built during the 18th century. The St. Peter's Cathedral, locally known as Tuguegarao Cathedral, is where the Archdiocese of Tuguegarao sits. The relics of St. Paul II and St. Peter are also stored here. Spend a quick visit or attend to their mass schedules. After that, you can quickly take a picture with the church and its belfry as a backdrop. I hope you are like all of these historical places. If you like this video please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this please consider subscribing.